In the heart of the 11th century, during a mystical Persian night, two friends sat together, dreaming about their destinies, Nizam al-Mulk Tusi and Hassani Sabah. Little did they know that their paths would intertwine and their dreams would shape the course of history. Welcome to Mythology Mysteries, where we delve into the enigmatic tale of Hashashin and the Order of Assassins. Nizam al-Mulk dreamt of power, aspiring to be the Grand Vizier, controlling everything with authority. As for Hassani Sabah, he yearned to become a leader, commanding armies with a mere word and changing the world with a whisper. The two friends made a pact that whoever achieved his goals would help the other fulfill his. Years passed, and Nizam al-Mulk became a minister for the great Sultan Malik Shah, ruler of the Seljuk Empire. Meanwhile, Hassan noticed his friend's success and felt left behind. He visited Nizam in the palace, reminding him of their pact. Nizam al-Mulk honored the pact, granting Hassan a place to work alongside him in the court, proving his loyalty to their friendship. One day, Sultan Malik Shah asked Nizam to calculate the country's finances. Nizam hesitated, stating that it would take him two years to complete the task. However, Hassan intervened, boasting that he could accomplish it in 40 days. Hassan's swift success impressed the Sultan, leading Nizam to feel betrayed and angry at his friend's audacity. He banished Hassan, fearing that one day he could take his place. Hassan felt angry with his old friend. He started a great rebellion movement. Hassan's movement got bigger day by day, and so did his ambition as the number of his followers increased. However, he became a threat to the empire, so he was chased by the Sultan and his disloyal friend. Hassan and his followers went to the Dalem province up north, where they climbed up the highest mountain there, Alborz Mountain. They forced all castles there under submission. Whoever didn't submit would get burnt. Hassan wanted one of the castles as the center of his empire. In 1090, he found a castle called Alamut, which means Eagle's Nest. It was an almost inaccessible castle, only through narrow, steep paths and turns. There Hassan found his purpose, establishing the Order of Assassins, known as Fida'i, also as Hashashin, referring to Hashish, or Hemp. Hassan's cunning use of Hashish to create illusionary heaven convinced his followers to carry out their missions without hesitation, promising them paradise after their death. In 1092, Sultan Malik Shah and Nizam al-Mulk attacked the Alamut castle, but Hassan and his men succeeded in fighting back the attack easily, given the advantage of the castle's height and the terrain's harshness. In response to the attack, Hassan wanted to take revenge on his old friend Nizam al-Mulk and kill him. So he assigned Abu Talib Arani, as he will be known as the first assassin, and the first assassination of the Order of Assassins. It was also said that Badr al-Jamali's son, the great leader of the armies, was assassinated by Hassan's order. Hassani Sabah's influence grew, and the assassins extended their reach across the region, in Damascus, and even countries in Central Asia, where they were trained and become killers in the shadows, becoming a nightmare for his enemies and political opponents. Years passed, the Mongols invaded Persia. Hulagu Khan, the leader of the Mongols, set his sights on Alamut Castle, desiring its strategic location. After three long years of siege, and despite the assassins' resistance, Alamut Castel eventually fell, and Hassani Sabah was executed, and the order of assassins was come to an end. In the aftermath, various legends arose about the assassins, Western historians like Marco Polo portrayed them as ruthless killers, while Arab historians offered different perspectives. Many theories exist, but separating fact from fiction remains challenging due to the destruction of historical texts during the Mongol invasion. In the end, 
The truth about the assassins may never be fully known. History, as complex as it is, emerges from multiple perspectives and one must approach it with discernment. As we delve into the myths and mysteries of history, let us remember that truth may be elusive, but the journey of discovery is an adventure worth pursuing. And there you have it, the captivating tale of Hashashin and the Order of Assassins. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave comments about which mythology or story should we do next, as we continue our journey to unravel the myths and mysteries of history and uncover the secrets of our past. So stay tuned for more captivating stories on mythology mysteries. Until next time, fellow explorers.